morning, everyone, and welcome to the week three lab session. Uh, glad to see you with us today. We were worried for a moment we wouldn't have anyone, but looks like we've got a good crew developing here. Um, I know I've, Therese, I've, I've seen you doing a, a great deal on Wikipedia, and um, Cami and Orange Abundance, I'm, uh, I'm not sure that I actually know your Wikipedia usernames off the top of my head, so um, I will need to take a look. Uh, to see what you've been working on, but I'm hoping that you're all coming with um, with some questions uh, about your final project, or uh, or ideas, or or have uh, some projects at least to share with us. So, is there anyone who who would like to tell us what they've picked for their final project, or what they're considering picking? Um, Orange Abundance, I'm, I'm trying to remember whether you were, I think you were going to work on an article in Spanish Wikipedia uh, more than English Wikipedia. Is that what you've chosen to do? Oh, hello. Good, good morning. Here I'm good afternoon from Europe. Like I, I, I'm going to go to, to translate and to give, um, um, uh, to create the page for Udacity, you know, the mock and the open, uh, the open, uh, open university in Spanish here, in the in the Wikipedia in Spanish. I'm going to translate it from English to, Sp to Spanish, and then afterwards I'm going to incorporate to the English version and to the Spanish version more information about it. What the the, um, the type of activity I want I choose to to collaborate is all dealing with mobs, with Oklahoma University, with education, with uh, worldwide. That is my interest. Okay, that's great. Um, the, so I've just pulled up, oh, I guess I'm not sharing my screen. I just pulled up the um, the article on MOOC in Spanish. I'm curious. I actually haven't looked at this recently. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn on screen sharing. Okay. Okay, so this is one of the articles you're looking at working on? Yes, yeah, that's the one I like, the most one, and the Audacity in concrete, okay? Audacity is the name of a, of a mock uh, service in the, through internet, the one they give very technical, technical school um, courses, okay? And then okay. Uh, that's the one, uh, the, the activity I want, I choose to collaborate, I think, is missing in Spanish to, to explain this is to everybody, so this is the one. So I am looking at everything about MOOC. Then, uh, I know that in this page from MOOC, from Wikipedia, can you explain me what kind of of resources or things or idea the Wikipedia uh, has about this MOOC matter, please? Tell me what is the idea the, that they got here. So, uh, in this page, it's not a, de a definition of the mock. It's a resources from Wikipedia for the mock. Can you explain me something about it, please, Peter? Um, I'm I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I follow the question. I'm sorry. Uh, I I am reading now in uh, in this page that Wikipedia last, uh, uh, maybe two sessions ago at the beginning we entered this mock page from Wikipedia. Okay, this one. And then yes. this uh, resources that they use for something, or is another resources for the Wikipedia school, or for the Wikipedia system, or is just another, or just uh, is explaining to us what that mock is. For example, what we are doing now is a mock type uh, study, okay? In mm -hmm. the open university, open course. So this page is, uh, this page you're to, to, uh, Show with me now what is about it. So what what did it, uh, it come for? What is the, the 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 matter of this one inside Wikipedia matter? So what uh, so what are the? I guess I'm I'm I'm, I'm sorry. It's I'm really just not understanding. Like what it, what needs to be fixed on this article? Is that the question or? Yeah, this, this is an article. Yeah. But Resources also of the Wikimedia Open Open School, okay? Yeah. I'm right. Okay. This is a resource. And then, what is the special type of mob that Wikipedia gives to the world? For example, that is what I'm interested in to know. 
y Wikipedia y ya eh, a Free Encyclopedia, ¿ok? O ya, o te, now we are entering, uh, we are giving people a mock, a mock system also, a massive open open online courses. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I, I think that idea of Wikipedia sort of used as a MOOC is, um, I mean, that's in a in a in a sense that's kind of what this class is. I mean, it's it's not exactly massive, but it you know this is our online course on Wikipedia. Um, but I don't think that this class is something that is uh, is notable to the level of adding it to a Wikipedia article. I think there are much more um, significant MOOCs out there that could be used as examples. Is that is that what you're asking about? I think. And I, 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 I'm reading a note on the top in Spanish that says that uh, that one moment. Okay. That 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 it must be changed the 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 way it has been written, okay? Because it's not a Wikipedia site. And I you see in the, the note above the uh, in the page it says that it, it needed to be edited. And it, and it needs to be simplified uh, like a wiki, like like a wiki, due to the conventions of the style I say of Wikipedia. It's, 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 it's written now like a like an advertising page. That's what they say in my page. Are you reading it also, over? Here, I'm, in, on the top, uh, just on the, on the top of the page, it is. Yeah. In, in Spanish, but I'm translating to English. That one, that this article mm -hmm. about education has the following problems. It has been redacted, um, written uh, like a advertising page. Okay, uh, it needs to be with wiki type, okay, certificado, so wiki type, so type like wiki, like with the with the written con, uh, styles from Wikipedia, and it reference additional reference for its authentication. Okay. Uh, okay. This part. So maybe I can also collaborate in that part also. Okay. So I'm just I've just translated this to English just because it's I can read a little bit of Spanish but not quickly enough to follow. So <laughs> this will help me. So it's this second line is the one that you're asking about. Uh, Wikipedia yes. style conventions. Okay. And also the first one, the one that said the current wording is just like an advertising one. Like advertising. The, yeah. Change all of this. So maybe this is a second page I can I can collaborate. First one is going to be yeah. you that page and then this that this one is the second one. Because we need to co to convert this page to a Wikipedia type page and not to an advertising type page. Okay? Mm hmm So yeah, so it's it, this is a little difficult for me to speak to because, of course, throughout the article, it's it's uh, difficult for me to read. So I don't know really any better than you what someone was looking at. Um, Sometimes these these banners can be difficult to work with because they're not always up to date. So you you notice the date of the banner is uh, December 2012. Okay. So it's it's possible that that one person put this banner at the top of the article and since then it's changed a great deal and it, it, oh. it may no longer have these problems but nobody has gone back to uh, remove the banner or it may still have the problems I don't, I don't know but this is an old enough tag that I would probably uh, I would probably look at that and you might want to look at the history and go back to December 2012 to get an idea what the person was looking at. So I'm going how to just. Can we check how many edit page uh, uh, new pages have been appeared? Um, how new articles have been done after this, this December 12th? Well, I, so now I've I've just pulled up the version from December 2012, and so you can see that it was a much shorter article. Um, 
So I'm, I, I do think that it's changed a good deal since then. Um, but only one of the the banner also looks different. It didn't have um, it didn't have as many items indicated. So. Well, well, In, well, well, I will check everything about it, and then I will, I, I will see. But so okay. looking in the his, in the in the, in the history here, I can yeah. see all the all the new updates that have been done over this article, and then yeah. I will uh, uh, learn how they yeah. use, how how to do all this matter. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Richard. So, and and I think also I, I think as you develop uh, an idea of what what you think might be a good response to this. Um, you, you should make a note on the discussion page okay. for this article, which nobody has left any comments here yet at all. So you can start the discussion about how to improve this article in Spanish. And you can also leave a note um, on our course discussion page. So then, back on the uh, I can compare also with the English page if, if it is yes. the same one. Yes. It's the same one, and it has been updated at the same month, or it's different, or maybe it's better done, and this, this one was all like a publicity, like an yes. advertising page, and the other one not. I'm going to check the document after it, okay. Yeah, I think you'll find it's very different on English, because different people have been working on it in, you know, little bit by little bit. So um, I'm sure it's evolved. Uh -huh into a very different article, but it would be a good one to look at to get an idea of how an article like this might look. So we um, can make a new a merge of both, and a merge of this all Spanish one, and a merge of the English one, the new one, and then we can make a merge in a new, a new, a new page with all the new updated. Okay, that's, that's right. That, that, that's interesting for me. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also you should you should leave a note about this on uh, on our English Wikipedia uh, talk page for the course. So I, I, that's the right place. I think uh, we will better discuss it because all these um, uh, mock, mock matters in, in Spanish are not uh, people to to use to. Okay, uh, they are only clever people there in every in every in every country, but not but not it's very people that not know it yet. Okay, like not use it yet too too much. Because that, it's better to make a discussion in the English page because there's a lot of people that can talk about it, and then just make the translation to the Spanish one, okay? Because in the Spanish one, more where is beginning all these mock times? People are very used to go to the university to go in front of the prof of the teacher and, and everything. They are not good using this. Not now. They're going to begin to learn how to use this through the computer and so on. I think this thing is much more developed in the. British, English, and other and other countries. That's the thing I want to improve in the Spanish world, okay? Because yeah. they are yet yeah, getting used to it. They are not using it all. They're not knowing it. I want to translate and to 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 to, to give to them all the information to begin to use this, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I think we're all looking forward to see what you do with that. So please do leave a note on the talk page, and I'll see if I can uh, help answer your questions throughout the week. Okay. Okay. In the discussion, I give. Where where do I get, get, put the all the notes in the top page? Oh, in the top page. Okay. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So both so on the the Spanish talk page for the article and also for our class talk page yeah, in that English. Was, okay. That's that right. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Um. So is there anyone else? Therese, I'd, I'd be very interested in hearing about what you've been working on. I see you've been editing several different articles. Well, yeah, I've been just just kind of trying to get used to things and um, just in editing things I'm interested in um, and also related to my own institution. But as for the, the, uh, the final project article, Um, I've been communicating with um, another member of my group, um, Sarah G, and um, well, we both have, uh, we're both from universities that have institutional OER kind of productions, and, um, and it's occurring to me that 
actually a lot of universities you know, are like that. You know, we 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 all have we all started in the the OER world, kind of individually producing our own and putting it out there. Um, and so I was just thinking, I don't know if if there's even an article that states this, or and that you know maybe a just a, you know an article that just starts to list perhaps the I don't know the, by region by Europe. Uh, now she's from South Africa and I'm I'm here in Europe, um, but the different institutional um, you know I'm talking about higher education institution uh, releases of OER. Um, also, I'm interested in in writing an article and I I started one on the OER university, which is different. It's you know it's uh, pan institutional. Um, so that wouldn't quite fit into that particular article, I don't think. But anyway, those are the two that I'm that I'm thinking of working on. I don't know what what, what you think about that. I'm sorry, guys. I had turned off my my microphone. I just saw the chat. Okay, so uh, I was kind of thinking through how I was going to go at this anyway. So uh, now I have my thoughts together a little better. So I was thinking with the with the idea of a list of OER uh, projects, it might be worthwhile to create a, a separate article. And I just pulled up a, an example of a featured list. So uh, there is a concept of, of lists on Wikipedia that's separate from articles. They're, they're sort of a specialized kind of articles. And as you can see with this one, there's, uh, there's a fair amount of text introducing the concept and providing background and context. But then if you scroll down, primarily this article is a table. It's a list of, of different institutions. So. Um, what, one thing to note here is that every one of these entries in the list has a blue link. So that means that there's a Wikipedia article about it. And I think that if, if you made a list of OER projects at different universities, probably most of them would not have the Wikipedia article. Um, there, there certainly are a number that do. Um, of course, you know, something like OpenCourseWare or um, uh, I think Open Michigan may have an article. Uh, I know Merlot has an article, but there are also many OER projects that would not. So, so I would think that starting work on something like this would be a really good idea, and it actually may turn out. This actually might be something where it would be a little bit better to work on the article in your own sandbox. And then we could kind of look at what, um, you know, of the of the item of the entities that you want to put into the list. We could get a sense of how many actually have an article, and have a discussion about whether it makes sense to actually publish this on Wikipedia, or maybe to keep it as a um, sort of a project page for now, um, and uh, sort of a complement to our list of articles to work on. So, uh, Therese, I, I. Um, have have you? I don't I don't know if we've covered um, the user sandbox concept in this class. There is a video that's linked in one of the homework pages. Um, 
why don't I just uh, just briefly review how you would go about doing that. If up at the top, you'll see a link that says sandbox. I think there's a, mine's a blue link, so um, okay. So the, I haven't done much here, um, but this is basically a place. You see that the address has my username and then a slash and sandbox. And so this is a page that's publicly visible to everyone, and it's actually technically anyone can edit it. But in in the the concept of it is, is that it's basically my place to work with. So if I work on something here and someone else makes a change to it, I can just change it right back. It's in my sandbox, so um, it's up to me to work on an article how I want to. And so people will use these sometimes to develop an article pretty thoroughly before publishing it more officially on Wikipedia. So I would suggest you get started on this, and there's really a much lower bar to getting started. As you can see I, on mine, I just put this as a test edit, um, and it's just sat there that way for months just as a demonstration. Nobody cares. Um, if there's something here that's incomplete or doesn't have enough references or anything like that. So um, you might want to just start keeping a few notes in here and then leave a note on our course talk page when you want someone to look at it and we'll continue the discussion. Uh, I'm going to pull the OER University page up again. And it looks like you've got an excellent stub here. Um, so you, you have a, uh, a, a solid brief introduction to what the concept is. And I see there's something on the talk page. So, okay, so I guess I've already said that to you. <laughs> um, so I, I, think you've, I think you're definitely off to a good start here, and I'm interested to see where it goes. And if you have any specific questions you'd like to explore before you take your next steps, uh, feel free to bring them up. Do you want to stay with us for a moment, or should we move on to someone else? Um, well, you've answered um, my biggest questions, so thanks a lot. That's that's really helpful. The idea of the list, I think, is a good one, and yeah, that that sounds like a project to start on the sandbox. Um, as for the OER University, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm getting I'm getting references and papers together on that, so. I've just got to get a structure in my mind um, before I g go any further on that, I think. So yeah, so I think I'm good for now. Thanks. OK. Uh, one, one idea that it, as you're collecting references, you might want to just make a list of them on the talk page for your own reference, for other people's reference. Um, that can be a sort of a, a useful way to get started. Oh, and also, just to recap the bit that, um, that you guys didn't hear when I had my microphone turned off, um, the way that I got to that list of, um, of New York institutions was I went to the More Featured Articles link on Wikipedia's front page. And once you're here, this gives you sort of an overview of the featured articles and featured content on the site. And you see just below Featured Articles on the right is Featured Lists. So this is uh, kind of a, as kind of a subset of featured articles, and then it's also it's organized in a similar way. So I clicked on education, and we get a list of lists relating to education. So you might want to look through a couple of those to get a sense for how these will these will be very uh, very nice articles. So you don't want to don't be intimidated by what you see here. Sometimes they reflect you know many months of work by many different people, um, but just to give you an idea of sort of what the, the, the high end of quality of a, of a list looks like, this will help. Okay, so um, someone else want to share what they're working on? Glenn, Cami? I can uh, talk a little bit about the one I've been working on, and uh, Pete, you and I have been bouncing back a few ideas on this too. This is the First Nations secret page. Yes, yes, yes. 
and uh, you'd asked me to in the in the talk page to uh, provide the original list that I was looking for, and it was a list of uh, search engines. Mm -hmm. And when I came across this list of search engines, uh, I noticed the types of list the engines that were uh, um, mentioned on that list, and one was uh, a geographically uh, oriented search engines. Mm -hmm. So I, it just so happened that I knew about this First Nation, First Nation Seeker um, search engine that was a geographically oriented search engine. Right. So I figured, well, you know, I'll, I'll link it up on that page. I'll put it on the list of search engines. So then when I put it on the list of search engines, of course, there was no Wikipedia page. So I figured, well, I'll start a Wikipedia page about it. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of how I got into it and how I got it rolling. So right. then, of course, trying to um, establish the Wikipedia page for it and uh, having some challenges trying to find appropriate uh, resources to make sure that it was considered notable enough and being confused because some of the other search engines that are listed on that link that have a Wikipedia page do not have anywhere near the um, you know the same credentials to to make make them notable. Right. So that that's why I was going to and you and I talked to our I had a little chat about that in, in the in the uh, talk page as well. Right. How does that determination get made? So yes, I'm, I'm glad you brought this up again. I, I've looked through it and was I was going to leave another uh, note on the talk page, but it, I think it's something better for discussion. Um, the so I was I was curious. Did you look at the video that I put up last week of how to find sources, uh, basically using Google Google News and Google Scholar? Um, there was a there was a video. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna pull that up in one tab here. Uh, see, I guess this one. So I think it was on the week three page. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I put this link. Um, I think I may. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll try and come back with this. If anyone else uh, knows where it is, please feel free to put that in the chat window. Um, but I, I did a I did a video basically of how I would use Google to um, to search for for sources for something like this. So it'd be interesting to look at this example. So I I would put in the title and then go to news and actually put it in quotations so that we're looking for exactly the um, exactly that string of text. So there's there's nothing here except for the site itself, but if we go into the archives, it's possible that we will No, but there's no mention of it here. So we're not finding uh, finding any news mentions of it. So let's look at Google Scholar to see if there have been academic mentions. I don't think we need to look at patents. And so here we have several results. And it will probably take a little bit of digging into these to see um, how much depth it goes into about this actual website. But if it does, if they do, then this would be the kind of sources that might help establish um, establish the article, establish notability to have a Wikipedia article. So I'm gonna I'll leave that for you to explore further if you like. Um, but to get back to the the question about the other search engines on here, there's it's it's actually fairly common and confusing and frustrating I think um, that. There will be Wikipedia articles that really fall short of the notability requirement, but it's just that nobody has noticed it yet. So um, I'm going to click on this one that you mentioned, Goo, which um, so this so this is uh, is something that I would 
if if I just ran across this in my um, in my Wikipedia editing or you know browsing as a as an experienced Wikipedia contributor, my instinct would probably be to nominate this page for deletion because um, at least on the page there are no independent sources whatsoever. Uh, before making that nomination, I would want to go out and look, like we just did, and see if I could find some sources. And if I could find them, then I would want to strengthen the article. Um, but you know, because Wikipedia has been around for so long, and it's taken those um, those standards a long time to evolve, um, there are lots and lots and lots of things that don't, in any official way, meet the Wikipedia requirements. And so it can be. Uh, when you when you get into making an article about something similar, um, it can be kind of confusing to say, well, you know, this other one is here. Why? Is, what's the difference? Well, it may be that there is no difference, but that neither one of them really meets the the standard that it should to have its own Wikipedia article. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to delete this article now, but I'm sort of you know trying to give you uh, kind of an, an insight into the way that. Uh, the, a Wikipedian would typically think about something like this. I'm going to just click on the View History tab. And well, it's fascinating. It's a whole lot of edits for a very short article, isn't it? Um, I see it was first created in 2007. Uh, I think that over time it's become more uh, difficult to start a new article. It could be that if someone's tried to start the article today that it would get noticed and someone would express that issue with it much sooner. And so there wouldn't be this, um, you know, this scenario where people have put lots and lots of work into it, but someone might, uh, might then want to delete it. So OK, and you're saying if you do a, a regular Google search, we'll get a lot more results. So let's, let's just take a look at that. The reason I go to Google News is that um, the things that come up there are much more likely to meet Wikipedia's sourcing requirements. That's not to say that things that come up in another in a regular Google search won't, but it's um, you know news articles are are almost almost by definition are going to be uh, worthwhile sources. And this is going to be just anything that's on the web, which could be just someone's, you know, comments on their personal blog or something like that, which which might not make a good source. So this is definitely something to look through. Um, it it might be a little time consuming to kind of dig dig through this and find the the pages that are the most worthwhile. I see. I'm going to just click on one here that's from a university. Okay, so this is um, this lists the site. I'm assuming as a resource on a page about American Indian history. So this is something that would be. Um, th this doesn't really contribute to the idea that um, that this site is notable. This would be something that you might. Um, you know, it might be like a, a like a, something that you would put in the external link section or something like that as as something that's related, but it's not. What what we're really looking for to establish the notability of the topic is an article that is primarily about that topic. So if this were a page about First Nation Seeker and went into some detail, um, you know, these are the things that it can be useful for. Uh, these are areas where it's kind of weak, and you might want to look for another source. Something like that, where it was sort of a review of the site. That's the sort of thing that we would really want to establish notability to find at least at least one article like that and and at least two or three that mention it in a somewhat prominent way. Um, so maybe like a list of the top five um, search engines for you know for North American studies or something like that. Okay, so you said you you think you found a couple like that. So. Uh, if you want to put those in our discussion on the course talk page, or uh, maybe in the um, the discussion page of the list of search engines, maybe we can come back to those uh, and discuss them offline. I'll take a look at them. And uh, I can see the deleted page. I, I'm able to pull it up. Um, 
and I can put it in your sandbox. So why don't I do that? Um, it, it's a little bit time consuming, so why don't, I'll do that right after class, and I'll leave you a note on the class discussion page. Okay. So, Cami, are you still around? Do you have uh, anything you'd like to share with us or ask? Okay. Well, Cami, maybe you. It's it's not a problem if you're you know ahead or behind or or anything, but if there's um, if there's any general area that you're thinking about that you might want to work on, um, maybe you could point us towards that, and we could just chat about it a little bit. Um, you know, just if there's an article that is related to something you want to work on, or an article that that might be something you want to look at improving, um, or even just a general topic area, we could pull up an article or two and look at them. Okay, I think I'm going to I'm going to come back to uh, to Glenn's question and uh, and just pull that up. And actually, this might be uh, I'm going to log into my regular Wikipedia account and so this demo account so that I can see the um, the deleted page. And it might be interesting for you guys to look at this to get an idea of sort of what uh, what what it looks like behind the scenes for an administrator to do something like this. So I'm going to type in first. So we're going to see a similar screen. Uh, actually, okay, so it, it tells us that there is no article, but if I click the red link, this screen tells us like it would for, for anyone that a page with this title has been previously deleted. But I, because I I'm an administrator, I have this view slash restore link. So I'm going to click the most recent one of those. And now you see we have this uh, list of edits. So I'm going to go to I think the most recent revision. And it should so now it allows me to look at that edit without I haven't actually restored it in Wikipedia. I'm always a little bit uh, careful with these because I don't want, <laughs> if what I'm trying to do is, I'm not trying to actually restore it as a Wikipedia article um, because that would be overriding the decision of someone else. What I'm trying to do is just get a look at it so I can copy it and put it in Glenn's page. So I'm going to just copy everything in this source text here. Uh, there also is a preview button here, so if I wanted to see what it actually looked like, I can do that. Um, but now, why don't we just go to oh, I think I put in an extra G. Oh, and I had a link to the sandbox that I just Okay, so you already have something you're working on there. So I'm going to just uh, I'm going to make something called Sandbox 2. So this will be a new page. I'm going to start the page and paste this here. Uh, now I'm going to actually remove the piece that says that it's being considered for deletion. Although, well, no, I'm not going to remove that because that does have a convenient link to uh, the place where that decision was made. So. I'll just leave that in there for now. So there it is. And you can, okay, and so this is, I was a little nervous about this. It says this template is being used in the wrong namespace. So um, it's, it's kind of recognizing that I have left this tag in a place where it wouldn't ordinarily be. So, Actually, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to 
copy the link and just just paste it in separately. And if you're really interested in uh, what the article or what that uh, how that how that tag works, you can always go back into the history and see it. Okay, so now you see you have this link for to the deletion discussion up at the top. Okay, um, so I think we can um, probably add a link to this page in the discussion. So if anyone, did, just to make this page a little easier to find, uh, I guess I'll do that now too as long as I'm in here. Copy that address and go to Wikipedia talk, thank you, Sue. Formatting with this, I don't know if people are using the Wicked uh, tool, but I can uh, I can show you that if you're interested. If this uh, this text might look a little different than you're used to, so I guess we we have a few minutes left, and if nobody has specific um, comments or questions they want to get into, uh, something I like to do sometimes is just go into the the preferences and show you some tools that you can use. So. Why don't I show you what I was just talking about there? So I'm going to go back to my demo account. Oh, okay. We can. Yes, absolutely. Sorry, Glenn. Um, I think that uh, it's. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the official website, and then we've got two sources, like you said. So maps of indigenous North America. Taking a moment to load to load up. Okay, so I don't I don't have any background in what this geocurrents website is. So if to give you a really good answer, I would probably want to look into that a little bit. I would probably want to look at their about page. You know, get a sense of is this a website that is well established, that's been around for a while, that's respected. Um, it does. You know, it has a, it, it looks like a good. Clean layout. It has at first glance, it certainly looks like a, a high quality site. Um, and then here we have a tremendously useful website with a wealth of cartographic resources. So definitely the the phrasing uh, seems seems right. This seems like what we would be looking for. Um, so I'm not, I'm not gonna I'll, I'll look at your other source, but I'll I'll say you know at first glance, this certainly looks like. <clears throat> Like a good solid source, like we were discussing, um, and then let's look at the other one. So again, the page is primarily about First Nation Nation Seeker. Okay, so I do think these are both good sources. Um, let's have a look at the at the deletion discussion to see what other people thought. It it may be that. Um, well, here let's 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 just see what people had to say. Okay, so it was deleted once. It was it was speedy deleted once, which is which basically is a process <clears throat> that doesn't have a whole lot of consideration. And this may have been my guess would have been that was before you even put those sources in. Um, and now you say I believe I've, I've made the necessary edits to have the page remain. So and this person disagrees, but <laughs> didn't say why. So that's that's unfortunate. They they probably should have said a little bit more than just I disagree. Uh, that would have been more helpful. So this person says interesting website, but it does not meet, and they linked. 
a policy that I'm not familiar with. Oh, okay, so notability. So this, so we've we've looked at the general notability guideline, um, but there are lots of topics that have their own notability guidelines. So uh, you know, something like basketball players or movies or um, uh, politicians or something like that. There might there might be uh, a separate set of guidelines that. Uh, that goes into kind of more detail on what it takes for that thing to be considered notable. And so that's what this person is basing their uh, their their opinion on. And I'm I, I would want to probably read read through this a little bit and and think about why it connects. Although really, that's this person should have probably said that in their comments. Um, does not meet. You know, because of this criterion or something like that. So I'm, it would it would be much more helpful if they had if they had done that, and we could figure out why they actually thought that. Um, so then we have so Glenn, you left a comment. The entry has cultural and political significance. Okay, and then and you contacted the person who created the site, um, and this person clarified that he did not originate the the page, so um, he's trying to uh, clarify that there's not a conflict of interest in, uh, in him being here. So, okay, so I, I think that this is, um, I think this is a, 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 it's a questionable decision, which is, you know, just to go back to what I've said before about it, which is that I, I think it's in a gray area. Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's one where um, reasonable people could disagree and think it does or does not meet the guidelines. I'm not, as I said, deeply familiar with the, the web notability guidelines, the web page notability guidelines, but this last comment here that, that says it fails the general notability guideline, I don't think that's necessarily true because of what you just said, Glenn, because there are these two sources that are clearly just about this um, about this page. So if this is something you really want to stick with, and um, you know I think that's that's an important question to to think about. Um, but if if you really want to put this page up, I think your your best next steps would be to try to find a couple more sources that are along the lines of what, the ones that you put in there, uh, and then and 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 build out that draft a little bit in your in your sandbox, and bring you know we can bring it back up for discussion on the class talk page. I could take another look at it, and if you feel like you've made um, it's it, basically what I'm what I'm saying is like you could sort of appeal this decision now and recreate it and reopen the discussion, but. That kind of thing will be better received if you've also made an effort to make it even better. So if you can add a little bit to it, it will make more sense to um, to kind of bring this back up. And I'm happy to work with you on that if you're um, if you want to stick with it. Thanks, Pete. Okay, and Tammy, I see. Sure. Yeah. Thanks for giving us a. This is a really good example for us to look at. I'm sure. Other folks are probably running into similar, similar things. So, Cami, you want to work on? Oops, why is this not? It's cutting off for me. I get this weird thing where the chat box kind of cuts off sideways, so I'm unable to see your full comment. But I see, I see the link. Oh yes, of course. The you've I, you've brought this up before. What can I do to see my chat window better? There we go. I'm probably blocking out part of the page for you guys. But. Okay, so you're going to um, be looking for citations. So let's see what those citations look like already. So there's already 24 citations in the article. Um, Without without looking more closely at them, I don't know if these are high quality ones like we were just talking about, or you know some of them might just be passing references. Um, so 
But do you do you have some? Is there like a specific section of the article that you're wanting to work on? Or uh, okay, for some reason the article has been flagged for more citations. Okay, so this this would be an interesting to look thing to look at um, as far as when that tag was left and whether it's been addressed. So it was tagged over a year ago. You see in this in the top window it says uh, it has the date at the end of the tag. <clears throat> so let's take a look at what it looked like in June 2012 and see if there were 24 citations then or maybe these have all been added more recently. So I'm going down to the bottom and I get this list where I can see more edits. So I'm going to click 500. And that'll take a moment to load up. And now I can scroll down further into the history. So let's look at the most recent version from June 2012. Actually, I'm going to look at the, the first version from June 2012 because it, it could be that someone was actively working on it then. So now if we scroll down, so there were some citations. There were 15, not 24. Um, And so I, I think, Cami, probably the, the best first step would be to look through the article and develop your own sense of whether it has enough citations, whether, you know, probably look at, at whether every section has at least some citations and, um, and see if there are any specific claims that, um, that really Ask for a citation that are really uh, that are, that are controversial or confusing, or where someone really might be wanting to find a better source. I do see in the intro section, in the lead section, there's this one paragraph that says citation needed at the end. So you probably want to look at that and see if that's something you think is accurate and easily cited. But form your own opinion about this, and if you think that it's fine, then you should just remove this tag. You know, you, you may be comfortable just removing the tag without adding any new citations at all <clears throat> if other people have already added uh, sufficient citations in the meantime. Uh, this is, <clears throat> it's, it's always sort of a judgment call. I would say just needing, just having one sentence or paragraph that doesn't have a citation is probably not enough to justify having the tag on the article. Um, it's, you know, just having the tag within the article like this, the citation needed tag is probably plenty. So if that's the only one there, I wouldn't let that stop you from removing the flag. But if there are, <clears throat> if there are several different sections that really are, it's going to take a fair amount of work to get citations into them, that's where the tag is more appropriate. And of course, if you find something like this one, if this is something that you think is a, is an accurate statement and is a useful thing in the article, um, going out and finding a citation for that one is an excellent thing to do as well. So now have I lost my chat window again? There it is. Okay. <laughs> this is sometimes I don't love the Blackboard Collaborate software. <laughs> So, okay, so you're asking about cleanup. So, let's click the cleanup link here, which should give you a general idea of what people are talking about with cleanup. So this is, um, this is probably a good page for you to review uh, after the class. I see we're, we're coming up on the end of the hour. Um, so, um, what 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 I generally think of a cleanup tag as meaning is um, it, it 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 can mean a whole lot of different things. Uh, it might mean that uh, it that the the sections aren't very well organized. I don't think that's the case here. As I scroll through it, they all seem like they're uh, similar in length, and um, you know they they all seem to have you know good subsections and things like that. Um, it, it 
it could mean that the lead section isn't very well developed, but again, it seems like a good substantial lead section, so I don't think that's the issue. Um, so I'm not, there's nothing that's jumping out to me um, as being a, an issue relating to that. Um, you know, here's, here's something that uh, in, this, in this school section, this is something that, that does seem to me like maybe a bit more detail than would be expected in a Wikipedia article. Um, it's uh, typically, I think, people, uh, typically it's, it's, it would be sort of expected that the school would have its own, that the university would have its own website that goes into the detail of what it's, what all its different schools are and who the directors are and things like that. So, you know, this might be sort of more information than someone looking at an encyclopedia article would want to get a general understanding of the, of um, what the university is all about. So that's the kind of thing that if there are a lot of things throughout the article like this, that's the kind of thing that might lead someone to put a cleanup tag in. And this might be something that I would think about removing uh, and summarizing in, in text. So, you, it, it, you know, this, this paragraph that says it has 21 schools and a network of 59 regional centers, giving sort of an overview that helps someone understand this general uh, thing about the school is more what would be expected in Wikipedia and having a link, having a citation in there that leads to the schools, uh, to the university's page about its different schools um, might be a better thing than the table. Again, uh, you would want to look at the uh, at the date. So again, this one this one was actually flagged even earlier. So this is almost two and a half years. So the person who left this tag was looking at a very different version of the article. So again, it may be that whatever they whatever problems they found are no longer there, and the tag could just be removed. Uh, also, before you before you take those steps, it's always a good idea to look at the article's talk page. It could be that there's been extensive discussion. Uh, actually, here I, I see the first thing I see is this third comment that says cleanup needed. So this person actually, this, well, this comment was maybe disconnected because this was back in 2007, but uh, someone had something to say about what kind of cleanup they were doing. So you would want to read through that uh, and also look at the more recent comments. So it looks like there's some very strangely formatted <laughs> comments here, maybe some test edits. Um, it's interesting to me, though, it's, it looks like there really has not been a lot of recent discussion here. I'm seeing more 2007 dates. So it could be that, that nobody's really put a lot of thought into this article in a long time. So I'm just catching up with your comments. Yes, and citations can be a part of, a part of cleanup. Um, that, that if, if there aren't enough citations or if the citations just aren't formatted, uh, th those are the kinds of things people might be talking about as well. So just to look briefly in the references section, some of them have a nice uh, bibliographic style where uh, you see the link is kind of embedded. Uh, it gives you the date. It gives you the access date, the, the date it was retrieved by the Wikipedian who added it to the article. And then you have other ones where it's just a bare URL. So this one has, it has some formatting in it, but you see how it's just a URL as opposed to text that's linked. So that could be cleaned up, right? That could be, um, you could go into the, into the code and add the title of the article and make that a nicer looking link. Actually, here's, this is what I was looking for, this number 12, that's just a bare link. So Hopefully, the, the real, the big problem with something like this is sometimes a page goes offline. So if we click on this, okay, so this is, this is not, but um, this is a page that you might want to just describe. Uh, this is sort of an unusual page to use as a reference, but putting in the title of the page, Dr. Nalini A. Um and the access date would be useful. If it was a news article, you would especially really want to, to to put in all that bibliographic information because then if it goes offline, someone still would have the ability to go to the library or log into a database or something and they still might be able to find the article even if the link doesn't work. Okay, so I see we've run a little past the hour.
So I think it's a good time to wrap up. But please do continue to, uh, to bring your questions to the class talk page. We haven't had as much discussion as we did in the last class session. So I really, I, I encourage you to bring up any ideas, thoughts, questions on our class talk page. They don't have to be, um, you know, if, if, even if you just want to kind of make a comment and say, you know, this is an article that I'm thinking about working on, um, it's fine. It doesn't have to be anything sophisticated. So, but it's, it's really nice if we have, uh, lots of things to discuss here. And please read what your classmates are asking about as well. And if you see an opportunity to answer someone else's question, feel free. Um, it's, it's, it's nice when it's not just, just me and Sarah answering the questions, but when other people jump in as well. Okay. So with that, let's, uh, let's call it a day. And I'll look forward to seeing you all on Tuesday. Oh, and also, if, if anyone does want to stick around, this room is certainly available. Uh, if you want to meet with your team or talk with each other, uh, you're more than welcome to stay in the Blackboard Collaborate space after we wrap up, if it's a useful tool for you. I was, I was just diving in with my microphone off to apologize for not really helping you out today, Peter. I had a couple of fires to put out on my end. But it looks like things are going pretty well. And I'm, I'm always available to all of you if you just want to throw me a question. Although the talk page is pretty good just so other people can see the answers. But anyway, thanks a lot for coming. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you Tuesday.